Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the um, Sogard Stall. Nope, god dang it, it's the Sogdian series of the Lord Master Hall as part of Imperator Rome Invictus. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was I had a habit of, you know, the word differences of the old CK3 series that I finished some time ago. And then with uh, this Sogdian series, so sorry for the confusion right off the bat. <clears throat> but anyways, our main focus of this episode will be the war against Salvira, which will begin uh, sooner or later. As you can see that we are currently joining the two armies of the Legion of Sogdian and Legion of Gunhada. We are... Trying to drill them up. Ah, that's where you see them. Oh, the amount of experience they have. Because we're drilling the army right now. I say give them a couple more months, or maybe up to a year, uh, then we'll begin our war. And we'll be sure to start, you know, using the Navy more than ever now. To transport everybody there. Ship damage done versus damage ship taken. Harassment would be the best option. And also there's a possibility that a civil war might break out, so we kind of want to wait a little. But the question is, who's rebelling on your neck of the woods? Pretenders. And this is the governor of Gedrosia. Oh. And this man from the Moria dynasty. So, Pretenders and the uh, governor of of Gedrosia, which, which is a big chunk of the south that would, you know, occur down there. Patalina in particular will be the place of rebellion. We'll definitely have to take advantage of that situation when that comes up. Alexandria or two attracts travels. The sheer grandeur of Alexandria or two attracts travels from all over the region. It is not uncommon that they vacation here that a large number use this as a destination. To revel the glory at our wonder. We will not let our divine wonder be tainted by foreigners. It's only 12 months. He was the physician. I guess he'll do. Just wait and see. If the war breaks out, we'll take them out. Well, meanwhile, the army of the Legion of Bactriana stationed over in Scythia is going to be more of a security force. Once I pass, uh, our future may be troubled for our kingdom. Mm. 
What's your popularity? 42. You're very charismatic. You're getting that. No need for that. There's some tyranny there. Again, it's the Epiprozenos, Governor, and the Legata, which in fact that's the whole army. So they're in trouble now, once war breaks out. In a couple of months, so keep drilling, man. the grain again. And the salt for legion maintenance. I'll check back in a moment. had in mind. What I had in mind was, um, I recall it was to go this way. Re Reduction of change governor policy. I mean, that's one, but also I'd like to have that. So that we can have less corruption and have more research points by the end of it in the long run. But the alternative what else I had in mind. Well, where did my mind go is the real question. Is something about, uh... Ah, yes, the Grand Theater. Which, you could go get that right now. That helps with the province, so to imagine having a city with a Grand Temple and a Grand Theater. That could definitely help you. Especially in those other places. I think that may have to do. And the other alternative there is, um, well, this way, if I wish to get rid of my rivals. <laughs> and of course, there's this way that I also want it for published promotion speed to go up faster then have more. What further growth woods is always good. Even more pop for most speed, but this being the most attractive. So that'll be one, two, three, four. So you got one. So the next one you'll be getting is by the end of this decade. And some a little sooner. Okay, you got me. I'll go for granted in the mission. So that way. Yes, it's probably supposed to be faster. But we need this next. And then... So these next three innovations will be three of these. So unlocks domestic laws. Which domestic laws, which would include relaxed citizenship status or courts for landowners. There's nothing like that and involves changing the form of government due to those said uh, policies. You may want to look at that again. 
No. It doesn't say anything like those at all. So, I believe you should be alright. But desired citizen ratio in cities? Honestly, I find that more desirable because that's for manpower and for research. Especially me being research intensive these days. Five months. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I cannot believe this person's asking me this question. It's on text. Anyways. I'll take it. More stability means more, you know, research efficiency. Oh, we had jumps to wood! Wood. That means, yes, we can't. Car support level three. Okay, fair enough. Level three port, not level two. Level three. You got me there. Sis are happy enough. Now I wish I could make the nobles more. Not happy. The nobles are rather important. Right. But when the civilization value goes up, they'll like it. I mean, it's kind of too late to start improving the navy now. War's about to break out. So, whatever you do, just hold the phone. And, uh, among other things. Yeah, yeah. The destruction of Conga. The earth has swallowed the territory of Conga in the Parthian revolt. The most of the destruction is outside of our borders. Seems uh, Chasinem as one of the neighbors. Out of the regions taking a brunt of damage well, leaving casualties and damage behind. Our people look for other, for guidance in these troubled times, though this is only a small region of nation that we've been struggling. Oh no. Two of Pops in Shasnam there. So um we'll help those. I'm willing to spend my money on it. Get up there! Okay. First things first. About damn time. This is what I've been saving up the political influence for. Now I spend money again. But remember, the year is 593. 603 will be next. I want to build a Saldian Emporium in Sibai. That is the next place that I want. So, put it here. This lowers the population output temporarily for the next year. But this place will have a Saldian Emporium for the local base uh, trade routes. So that way we can import more trade for goods in. Once it's all said and done. Particularly things that are of great importance. War's about to break out. Okay. 
head of the uh, administration here. Again, I'm not leading this, sorry, but I'll just try to be as charismatic as I can. So that way I can get these people to rally up behind me. I'm texting, I'm replying to somebody I know of right before the outbreak of the war. What we do know is they have 15 ships and uh, 33, so gonna be slightly behind schedule. So. Increase the pay of the navies and the army as well. Actually integrated calls from like that. No. Never mind. Stick to what you know best. Okay. I want my ships to be at its fighting best. This is going to take about a few months. Yeah, it'll definitely take a few months, so we'll continue to drill while Rebellion breaks out as a reminder of, of who they're up against. x -Manales. this uh, man who's currently in prison, so he's not going to matter. The governor of Gedrosia, which means the entire southern half of it, is going to be where the Rebellion is. So we'll just wait for this ship. So it's too late to expand a navy now. But at least Sibai will be a good place to um, start building medium ships. Um, to make it the official, you know, navy of the Indus and later. Actually, no. It's actually up there. So it only goes as far as Alexandria Sogdiani. Okay. War of Outcasts is by. Even though the objective is there. So this is um oxygen. This is gonna help us out here. For a little bit of relief. So we'll take what we can here. So ox tricky. Yeah, it's aggressive expansion, but should we just wait it out instead? Because whereas we can, you know, declare that one while we get all the others. I mean, a decisively quick war we'll have to do. They do have a fort in the city, and so do they. They got no ships. All right, stop drilling. Stop drilling. We're gonna have to go for it. This is maddening, I know, because we're taking advantage of the situation and the war exhaustion is gonna go up a bit. So is the aggressive expansion. And I'll drop a bit of that political influence, so we must do it. I want the invest. We gotta beat them to it. Come on, row, man, row. It's a quick land grab. Okay, we found their navy. Oh, level 10, 15 ships. You're basically out of your league, friend. Now 
Now remember, don't assault like you did the last time. Again, for him established, we can import more. Something for the nobles. Because Sebai is one of the places that actually increases the province quality. Get some incense. And how about some dice? That's not enough. Okay. They're trying to prove relations with them, but that doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. How about some stone, huh? I mean, good luck trying to get slaves, I think. I mean, that almost never works. It does use up quite a bit of food, so every little bit helps. So, that'll have to do for the time being. and start making improvements of the other Scythian city. Members of the satisfaction. Our oh, once lower commander was, uh, was for many long years led to our armies of glory, has fallen from far from our graces. Tired and angry, we defied the command. Spent time whispering in ears those closest court. Perhaps we should pay closer attention to the loyalties of our more influential generals. Curses! Hey! I'll pay your bribe. Stick with us. That's the rebellion army. Come on, hurry. They're gonna be mad at us. did the assault option accidentally, you're not against uh, a very intimidating force because this unit's got no commander. So go ahead, assault right now. I mean, we'll see too if we can take this easily. There you go. Now get up there and support him. Salvira. 13,000 strong out there. 13,500. See, these are the kind of numbers that we, we would bring.
Whatever they have over there, they can have it. But I'll be more than glad to have this city. Oh yeah. Come to Sibai. It's only one way. Damn, we lost a lot. Okay. Need salt again. I assume rebellion broke out somewhere. And horses. You need horses for cavalry. And of course some stone. So it costs less to spend on more buildings. Wait a minute, what the hell is that? Shunga Revolt, that's a first. What y'all did to screw up? They were in the middle of the war with the Pond. Oh, this, the strong South Indian power as well. Moria remnants are still out there. Pandya has been a big contender. Actually, they're dealing with a, a vault on its own. Oh, that's down in Lanka. That makes sense. Take the capital province. We've got to take all this quickly before the occupied rest. This is a quick land grab war. Aha! They can have this half. We'll take this. We got it all. all right? We did what we could. Well, they can have Maasai, which has vegetables, which honestly more food would have been more better. Instead, we are taking areas this has wild game, some dates, some salt, and this uh, city here, which its population is much more reduced, as this is a desert city, but next to a major river and river. This has camels. Much obliged. This will cause the aggressive faction to go back up to the way it was when the war started. This is against Greco-Indians, which is considered a minority in our area. So, banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. So there you go. Now we have a second city in our possession. Get rid of this. Build a farming settlement here for dates. So go down there, you'll be there. It's next to the capital province. <laughs> you did good. New Sogdian Emporium. We received word from our chief builders that a new uh, Sogdian Emporium has been completed. Even now, mere days after the construction is finished, hundreds of citizens have flocked to the new district where chaotic sights and smells of the market, exotic spices wafting through the crowded streets in, of tiny shops selling grilled meat and porridge, po um, pottage, loud voices arguing over prices next to booths overflowing with stacks of Embroidered textiles and fine silk, and bleeding of livestock, birds in cages, have overwhelmed all senses. This is why we placed a Sogdian Park down here, because this is a city that I've invested more time on to try to improve it, and I would love to turn this into a, uh, to a, a metropolis one day. So, come here. That mountain nation that I cared little of. Remember, next building slot, get another port. 
so we can build the ships that's you know medium sized to bolster the strength against those of, of their navy which they got a very good admiral whereas we do not but I fear that I may have to do this again to spend another 80 Parthian Revolt has been expanding big time. No wonder why we keep losing trades. Parthian Revolt occupied Persian Kingdom. Persian Parthian War. And uh, also Parthian Civil War against whatever's left of Parthia. Oh, that Parthia. Not the Parthia we often think of. They're just here to exert control over, but can they hold it unless the war breaks out again? <laughs> so until this goes down a little, to my liking, we will engage them in a real war. Check out Scythia Magnum. Oh, that was... Outside of Octazexis. Okay, you can stop drilling now. Don't want all your cords to be too loyal to you now, can we? all this uh, new man, fire stuff, uh, Koru, a powerful general in command of a great number of loyal troops has issued a demand of court. Despite efforts to move away from the reliance on the upper classes, he demands that we change our policies on the recruitment of soldiers as to increase the power and influence of nobility. We should thank twice for refusing such. So institutes military service, which those integrated cultures are not going to like that. So... Offer a counter-proposal. I'm gonna give you all the damn money that you need. <laughs> money solves all problems. So next month, it'll be low and I will finally start building buildings. Well first, get rid of this. Have a farming settlement there for the livestock. You can only hold three, but uh... Well... There's not so much we could do. There's hardly anybody there. No need to build another port. <laughs> Unless you want to attract some more people here. But what you're doing there is hurting the migration attraction. For the uh, harsh treatment. Actually, two things. One. Two. Three. There you go. More province loyalty would be good. If it weren't for those blasted corrupt governors. Especially in Panjanada. There's a... Characters, what's needed? Everybody loves some good fruits. You know, their over expansion might cost them, and it's going to start a civil war on their end. I just hope they do not over expand too much. There's 
two different Parthian rules. Ever since I released the one Parthian and then led to another, and oh my goodness, Ptolemaic Kingdom. Oh, they do have a revolt, but I did not realize how big that they actually are, didn't it? Means so. Somehow Rome has Athens, while Macedon controls most of mainland Greece except for Crete. And, uh, Hellenic League? What the? F so, somehow they did form the Hellenic League, while Macedon still exists. So there is a united Greece, but Greece is largely united by Macedon. <sighs> Confusing Europe. Here's a little more sensible, but we're trying to work on getting down the Indus. Start drilling again. Same for you, we just want you to prepare for the next war that's going to break out. The desert city with rivers. They're pretty nice. But there's already a nearby port there, so no reason to build that there. But bear in mind that we have this. Always could have a great temple. This is an Alexandria. So perhaps you could build an aqueduct as well. And switch that policy to something that's a bit more amenable. But mind you, this affects this too. All that up there. Including there. Oh, just have a little more civilization effect. See, they'll be all right. They'll all be all right. to have a strong admiral, but I don't know if our number of ships will be good enough to deal with whatever we're trying to deal with here. And contemplating an idea of building another port, which makes Sibai, you know, the unofficial naval base of the whole Indus. The Council of Boot has taken it upon themselves to free a sizable uh, quantity of, uh, of privately owned slaves. We could intervene if we think it best. Letting slaves get too comfortable could have repercussions. For freedom. Once again. Tandia Civil War ends. Loyalists win. That. You know what? Since uh, Scythia is kind of quiet right now, even with the harsh tree, I gotta do something to appeal to those, those Khwarezmians.
this isn't gonna work. Scythia. Not that Scythia, it's Saka. Yeah, we're sorry about all this. We'll tell you what. Oh, no, that can't be enough. What I need is big loyalty changes. years. That slave having is dummy. A cultural integration speed. For the classic culture. Cultural integration. Oh, we already integrated all that. It's just I'm looking for. Uh... Again, it's that one city that I would like to work on. It's like, I was... yeah, we're trying to make it more happy. But for 36 months at least, not 60 months. So three years for those citizens that'll be unhappy with what we're about to do here. And that's right of inheritance. So give it to them. It's possible that I might do more for them. Better than in mind. I'm trying to make do with what we can. Because I really want to build a great temple there. Just to start increasing its possibility to start going up this way. But that won't happen anytime soon. And in the meantime, we're gonna need you down here. Because we're about to start another war. We need you to be on the other side. Pachanada will rebel in 49 months. Another reason why you're gonna be there. Once you're there, I'm gonna need you to force march. We're gonna need you down here. All I want is Khorasmia to start being treated like, you know, normal people. That one always stays because I never give a damn about the war elephants that Persis gave me a long time ago. Ready? Watch. I need you down here to take Masai. While we continue to drill. We've gotten word from the first army of the Legion of Bactriana. Uh, it seems what they'd done, um, some thought to be possible. No sane commander would have taken an army at such a pace through such lands. Or what is conventional wisdom have us think? Evidence how it's just that it has worked. Despite the uh, attached dangers, and the aim was taken by surprise uh, by this sudden appearance. As the commander sent his ass out to them, I will either find a way or make one. Legion of Bactriana has been awarded Baca, which I recall this has it too. This is what this does. This is Army Wave Modifier Reduction. Cohort Lord to Gain Chance goes up. But it makes our Light Cavalry and Infantry up a little better. And our Commander Modifier is also up as well. It's part of the Legion. You lost an eye. Oh, I'm sorry. Very sorry for that, for for you to to that happen to you. Got another civil war. Is it going to happen anytime soon? Because they had one just recently. But we do have the means to bring all of our forces to arms. To get to them. Leper, ailing. I could pay you to make it better because we need you. We need you at this very moment.
And of course, once we're done with the Indus Conquest, be sure to build roads to connect to all the cities. In fact, both roads that go parallel. That's what I can see. Not for costs. Um, this is for increased monthly political influence and national citizen output. So, as it says, the Romans pioneered the creation of underfloor heating using a complex system of roads and furnaces. The hover cost was a rare but prestigious addition to villas and bathhouses. So, every little bit helps. Two innovations will be coming, and then we'll have graduated citizenship, which will unlock domestic laws. Population will mostly will go up. Yeah, by the end of this decade, we should have what we want. Especially this. More provincial loyalty. Any unintegrated culture happiness, especially you, Kowasmians, <laughs> will. This would make rebellions less likely. Little, but every little bit helps. And the found city cost modifier goes down even more. Because I can't imagine a few more places where I want to build cities in. So, Oxiana. Of course, this blasted governor of ours. What can I do to make it up to you people? Oh, I know what you need. You need a tavern. That's for freeman and slave happiness. I mean, that's one. But you also need, um... Oh, what's something that citizens like? Or just build a grand temple, as always. Everybody needs a grand temple. Aha! There you go. There you go. Problem solved. No provincial disloyalty here. Huh. Sibai and Sibai, that's kind of a little confusing. Yeah, because of the Legion of Actra now that has Barca, then it's got that distinction now. Uh, okay, yeah, that's tough now. Let's just drill for a couple of months. A couple of months drilled, and everybody will be ready for war. Boy, I've spent big. So, here's the plan. This uh, army is going to get on board to the Navy. And uh, this will be on top of them. They're going to be there to support it. And this other army here, which is the stronger of all generals. And as we would continue to go down, which in fact don't have to go as far. Where is okay? Take Pardini before Gedrosia gets its hands on any of those territories, because I want them to be mine. While we will subsequently take Kamagora. So we need to take control of Savira Pardini. Uh, over there on this side. This is the capital here of Salvira. And, uh, and they put over there as, as they are. So taking provincial capitals quickly as long as there are no fortifications, which there is. So yeah, this is going to take some time to get every single territory that we need. That's my game plan. Bad research ratio for once. 
The honorable people of Oxtrag had turned out in droves to see the renowned general, those leaders' troops on the way to greater glories. The delegation from Alexandria, Indoy, have requested the honor of sending a number of young men to join the army of ours. Sign of virtual fanaticism as a great boon during the warfare. Yee. I mean, he's one-eyed, but he's got arthritis. So he isn't as great as the generals he used to be. I mean, I could pay for his treatment, but gotta watch out for him. Because he's got, you know... Yeah, you see that gone down for having more low cohorts? Gotta be careful with that. Thorotea Khwazmi is still going down, slowly but surely. We're trying to turn that around. When we get more innovations. Which, unfortunately... The research efficiency has fallen. Perhaps not enough nobles and citizens, I suspect, but nevertheless, um, we will um, get those two, and this will be a difference maker. So remember your game plan. not too big on getting more money right now because our priority is going to go towards warfare now. So we should uh, continue to build up a war chest just a little bit. Damn, 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 damn. Well, then again, you're a young man, so there's plenty of time for you to build up your statesmanship. Matter of fact, that's the son of the master of the guard you just employed. Medical acts? Oh no. A rather embarrassing incident occurred during the treatment of our drummer. While performing a routine procedure, he has managed to completely fail the procedure, leaving Kakavano with some horrific injuries. We could demand that the treatment ceases, so it may end good or rest. Oh, crud! He's gonna be blind. It's too dangerous. Have you realized what you have done? You blinded him. It's five. What's your loyalty, Shaw? Ooh, an arrogant one. Nietzsche. Well then. You're gonna lead this army now. This is an infantry support army bearing in mind. So war's about to begin soon. But I wouldn't go up to war with at least 500 some odd gold. And we'll try to make do of it as quick as we can. What's the uh, majority of the people of Janata? Mix of Avanti and Purans. No, this here. Avanti, Ganhari, Purans. It's too mixed. But Ganhari and uh, Yoda Yara. Let's hope for a quick war, okay? We'll begin this war at the beginning of this next year. Right on time. Can afford this military tradition. Not gonna go for Indian Kingdom tradition nor any more of the Indian tribe. Instead, we're doing the Scythian route. Starting with this quilted letter on it. Judging by the Scythian gold ornaments made by Greek artisans, Scythian riders wore quilted leather jackets and trousers well before the 4th century BCE. So an army weight modifier goes down more, while horse archer defense goes up, as we do have a, a few horse archers, I believe, in the army of Sogdiana. Yes, we do. Some, but not enough to make a huge difference. 
Not until we have a dedicated cavalry force that we'll have one day. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Assassinate your father? Are you crazy? It's only 2% chance of success. I uh, don't worry about it. He's definitely gonna screw that one up. What the hell's going on in my family? I'm, uh, old am I this time? 64. In perfect health. Yeah. Perfect health. Now, we're off to war then. Don't worry about the aggressive expansion. It's still gonna go down slowly during the course of the war. The objective of the war will be Patalina. Patalina. Because, you know, we'll be going down and take all of this with this being the real war goal. The end point. Right there. Everybody's gonna come on and join with us. And Nabaka, I will soon start integrating you because it's almost that time of the year. For future reference. God, I hope we don't get sunk. And begin your siege. Stop drilling. On the move. a levy, and there's this small army. No navy in sight. Should we take them out? Well, they got away. A grand festival. Saldia gains grand festival. This makes the integrated cultures pleased. Well, actually, the fort will block them. Let's trap them. Get him, tiger. Honestly, we should have brought those um, up to arms, but we're about to get them anyway. Be occupying through those territories, key territories. The governor of Jana. This particular weasel-like man, the fact that he's making himself clear now more than ever. He's got to stir up the of his government, perhaps hoping to challenge our rule. Unfortunately, he's well regarded this locale. Our response must be made with care. Yipe! Don't do that. We cannot move against him. Blast. Oh, why not? We'll deal with this political influence stuff because we're focused on war right now. What to spend on the political influence, I should say. You're gonna support them. You got a prisoner.
Kanchanava and Kashmira in 24 months, so two years time. Yeah, you know, one of yous is gonna have to pull back unless we have to bring up uh, levies, you know, for emergencies. Which in this case it would have to come from uh, the enemy, but I believe it would have to be one of the armies that we have to pull back as the allies will be coming down here soon. Most likely you will stay. You know, it only has everything. Oh, oh. My goodness, they got a very good admiral. Even if they don't have many in terms of numbers, but this will destroy our navy. Pull back. Sorry we can't pick you up right now. We're getting the hell out of here. Oh, wait a minute, that's our ally. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the red there. I didn't see the nation. Okay, okay. I didn't see that part. Right, head down there. We'll support you soon. We'll be right behind you. Such a discipline. We ain't got no iron. Actually, you do have iron. A little too much iron, matter of fact. I didn't notice that. Watch where you're importing. Mm. It was the governor of Moro. He was a good man. You'll do. Especially, you're going to be the one where you're going to control this conquered territory that we'll have for ourselves and more. One second, please. No slow characters around now. I would love to have this so we can stop on the Grand Theaters, but uh, our focus is on. Oh, what the heck was I looking for? Was it Civic or Oratory? Right? Oh, no, it was this. Our segments got off of us now. Graduated citizenship, and in a uh, few years time, we'll get additional minorities. So now graduate citizenship, which will have domestic walls, and faster population promotion speed, a series of levels, each denoting different rights and privileges, which can be attained by non-citizens in our nation. Ensure that there is a ladder to climb, and that there's always something to work towards. We got a lot of slaves in this country, but now they can be whatever when they get promoted. But it's only a matter of time we'll get this and this is definitely gonna help us. It's definitely not going to slow down this rebellion which Madra will join as well. So definitely an Indian rebellion. We'll take this city. This is a very defensible city, which we mono, may want to put a hold on that. But the enemy armies are out there, seem to be focused towards Gedrosia. Mm. 
Nope, this is the only well fortified, this is a fortified city. Fortress city. And the rest of this is almost nothing to speak of other than ports. And a lot of Freeman districts. I'm definitely going to make some changes when these cities are going to be ours. And I fear that 7,000 men is not going to be enough to take this. But give it a try. Even if we do not have uh, military engineers. We got them. I'll pull back. You continue on. We gotta go help them take this city. Because I fear it may not be enough men. See, it is not enough. There needs to be at least 2,000 per little force. Oh, yeah. We're definitely coming here. Stop right there. The city hasn't fallen. here. This is Patalina. Well populated. Take this fortress and then the provincial capital and we're golden because it seems they're all committed to going over there. Ready? Horse march. Bypass Patala. And then take Zabla. This is going to take a while to get this capital. And then once we're done with that, we will withdraw back to the Northern Indus Valley region as this place is bound to be rebelled in 19 months. There's the enemy navy. Which they've gone away now. Or not. Or they're going up the river. Simply switched ports. Hmm. Got no stones again. everybody to that. Bad tactic, and they're still holding on. There was a Persian civil war. My goodness. The Persian kingdom has expanded so damn much. Which now we're catching up near equal in population, but that's all about to change when we take Salvira as a whole. So we should start taking the threat of the Persian Kingdom more seriously. Once we're done with this. Shunga, we have no quarrel with them. I could consider them as a valuable trading partner, because they have some resources that we do not. Hey, no, stay. The 
this is definitely going to be a prolonged siege. Got the provincial capital. Now all we need is to take the fortress and we're golden. And then we're going to start... Well... Let's see. We're going to have to starve the province out. It's getting to us now. Take the areas that's got food resources. Places to occupy. Got that. Because our army is not meant to go out like that for this far. The Gantharan infantry support army. See what the next phase timer is. Okay, we got this, and finally some progress. Okay, we got this as a whole. Now we need to starve them out. Take occupy areas that has food resources. And that includes occupation of cities. What they're doing right now is that they're getting some food. We're going to try to stop that. It's going to be our aim. Dealing with a revolt. As much as I would like to have that farm district there, but this is empty space, so that will be the place to build a fortress there at the border with Shunga, because, you know, we're afraid of their military might if we could quite possibly imagine what they have there. So we just occupy this area that's got fish. Jadaro. Take that. Oh, is it even a good idea of what we're about to do here? This is a level four. So we got a new guy. Oh, so you're in the navy now. Scare them away. <laughs> There's the grain. Occupy that and we'll, we'll deprive them. Because we can't seem to take that capital fast enough. Arya Gandhara is starving out. Got him. We're engaging them now. We have more ships than they do. We have captured one of their ships. We lost none. They lost three. They withdrew. I'm not gonna let them. Where they're headed. Endus. 
They're going north. Get rid of them while the morale is low. Sunk them all. And all the troops that were on board as well. Well done. Rest here. Don't you worry, we're coming to support you soon. So we can get some relief. Oh, actually, both of the armies are starving on shit. It's a very well fortified place, huh? And we need to take that. Okay, so. Fortunately, this place has got a greenery nearby, so. Be right back. We're gonna get some food supply while we're here to continue the siege on. Stay here. Frickin' Fortress City. Oh, actually, we gotta withdraw because in about four months, this place is about to rebel everywhere, so we need to pick up. Five thousand. I mean, this is Gandhara, not the Legion of Sogdiana. We gotta rotate. Rotate the men. Just a quick transport just to save you a couple of months. This has got to go down. We're trying to stall them out by occupying them, which we did considerably well, but unfortunately, uh, there are some places that they could still feed food off of, even if it's occupied. So, it actually contributed very little. Attempting to steal from a rifle. In a few months, we're about to get this one last innovation as Pachanada is about to rebel. So we're in the need of emergency here. So, rebellion's official. Rajagriha is the capital of the rebellion. Finally, nearly 600 days. 600 bloody days. We are requesting pickup. Hurry, the rebellion started. Up you go. Age 5 assault, yeah, even with the priests and surgeons shake their heads when confronted with the notable decline in human body, as he is finding out. Oh, cancer. Oh, I'm in perfect health, so I still got a few years before the cancer takes me. Which hurts all of my skills. But, I did what I could. So it is, so it is. 
give me all of this. So that'll be 17 on the aggressive expansion from that point. Salvira and the whole Indus is ours. That's definitely going to hurt the stability in the long run. Yeah. So, again, Krakowie needs a mad again. <laughs> Banish to those class, put the rest of the sword. For starters. Congratulations! Well done! Now we need to assign the governor of Gedrosia. Which, unfortunately, there's not much qualified people left. I'll start looking for talented people. You can reduce the weight. No, they don't got no ships yet. Don't get too worked up. So we can start making more money again during the course of this conflict that we're dealing with here. Very well then. They're gonna take Texoa. Fortunately, it's gonna fall to the Rebellion. Come on, get in all of you. Figures. Okay. There's no other port that leads up here, so unfortunately we're, we're all gonna have to drop off the city. So bye. Wherever they're going, I know they're trying to do something and I don't like it. So we need to take these two. Go slow, alright? We're waiting for support. Especially of the lack of food. Go! You were just a governor! You just barely became governor. I need help. Uh... We need some talented people. Who wants to be governor? You're the second, right? Oh, come on, I need better than that. Take that off. Okay. How about I got Hari talent? Good thing I've been saving up for this. Ooh, much better. Loyal too. Talekavas Vatsa. Manage this. Administer this. Get it. Petition of minorities. Allowing accepted minority leaders to submit petitions on behalf of their people at least gives them an opportunity to make their grievances known. So this will help the provincial loyalty go up slightly, but the unintegrated culture happiness of everybody will be much happier and uh, cost less to build more cities. that we ought to take once this falls over. We know you're not fully fed, but God damn it, we gotta get it. And also, I'm ill and dying. 
pick up more food. Get up the scala. Unless we have to engage with enemy forces that are no doubt going down this way. I recall having that fortress there, they took it down. Deal with those forces up in Kashmir. Took the provincial capital, but now we need this fort down. Took Krajagriha. Now stop them. We're gonna box them in. guys. this wrapped up soon and after that that'll be the end of this episode as this is war focused is this the air that we want to lead yes he's got the statesmanship he's ready it's popularity well I guess not but I guess we'll all have to do especially now that we have um, this thing where, yes, we have the Indus, but the real question is, can we handle all of this? This is a real challenge. The Wusun Migration. The Wusun peoples, an Iranian-speaking tribe with roots in, in Gansu, for centuries have been humiliated and defeated by their cousins, the Uji. The Wusun were forced to become subjects of the great Shan Yu Mudun for protection. With it, with living the lands of the Shang Nu and biding their time for revenge against the Yuji, now that the Yuji have been shattered by the combined Shang Nu Confederacy and the Wusun, it is time to resettle our people in the fertile lands of the Ili Valley, uh, the direction in which the remaining Yuji have fled. The great Shang Nu will aid in our conquest. I can hear their hooves from here! Oh no! The Wusun have arrived with. 36,000 strong horde. We're being invaded again.
this is what this calls for. <laughs> Even though it'll take a year to complete, but will they get here in a year is the real question. Ask any of the merchants that travel through the Fargana Valley and you will hear the same thing. The mountain pass in Narin is the gateway to the entire region. Whoever controls the pass will be able to keep a close side of trade on. So this will add more to the local fort defense and hostile just to anybody who is the owner of it. Implement that right now. We did not expect another foreign invasion. It's happening again. We've all rallied together to defend this war. now a national emergency once again. And I call upon all the countrymen for your help. Head to Fergana. Well, let me see. What's the quickest way? Road's quicker. Come on. You too. Head to Alexandria Scotta and we'll figure out what we can do from here. We'll wrap up this little rebellion. Use the invasion of Bactria. Just as the Greater Yuji thought they escaped the reach of the Xiongnu, the loyal Xiongnu vassal and our former subject of Wu Sun have been gifted the lands the other night by the great Xiongnu. The combined forces of the Wu Sun and the Xiongnu Confederation are too far are, are far too great uh, to hope to fight off. We must once again flee. This time to the south of the lands of the Greek ruled Bactrians, in this case Sogdians. Their lands are ripe for conquest, now they are sufficiently cut off from the rest of the Atlantic world. They usually shall subjugate the Bactrian cities, take their luxuries, and most importantly, stay far away from the wrath of the Xiongnu. This can't be good. Oh, this is worse than we thought. And my Zah. 46,000 strong as compared to the UZ have already occupied a few uh, places but the majority of the army has been placed there remember this this is the second time the UZ have invaded at Sogdia but first time for the world soon now we're getting cut off yeah. 46 cohorts Build another fortress. Get well, stay there. Boys will be waiting for you. This is going to be where the war elephants will come to play. One would hope. But you know what? Let's end this episode on a cliffhanger. I cannot believe this is happening again. This time all the subjects will support us. Now all we have to do is systematically eliminate them from the map. That's the way to win the war, just like the last time. Occupy all the territory that they have. So... Get ready for another terrible national defense of Sogdia. And this would also mean we would also have to call in the levies for additional uh, protection. As we do not have the time to create newer legions as much as I would like. Or even expand upon those said legions. Like all of these. But remember, at least we now have the experience of dealing with them. So again, in the next episode, more war. But this time, it's about to be, you know, quite possibly the... Oh. Oh boy. Can we overcome the odds? That's the real question. Because, well, we're about to be, you know have the full manpower, we'll be ready, but can we hold them, hold them off, to defeat all the hordes and all that, for our most experienced armies and generals that we have. So, 
we hope you people join us in this next episode as well things are going out on a handbasket already this is the second time this happened while there's a rebellion going on no that was during the war I'm taking advantage of one civil war so I do not have the time to invest to... well we'll figure out what we can do from here it's all about war now again but for defense and this is a defense which will help the military experience so join us in this next episode so till then so long for now